Welcome to the Human Capital Innovations Podcast, your go-to source for personal, professional, and organizational growth and development. We hope you tune in often for all things people management, organizational development and change, organizational leadership, and social impact related. Maximize your personal and organizational potential with Human Capital Innovations Podcast. Welcome to the Human Capital Innovations Podcast. In this HCI podcast episode, I share my recent Forbes article, The Benefits of Creating a Speak Up Culture at Work. The Benefits of Creating a Speak-Up Culture at Work Early in my career, I was in a management training position in a large corporation where I had the opportunity to go on extended rotations in each division and in each functional aspect of the business. I learned a great deal as I was able to see the inner workings of the firm from all angles. As many organizations do, this corporation wanted to encourage innovation and new initiatives. If any employee witnessed a systemic inefficiency or employee behavior that needed to be corrected or had a new creative product idea or process innovation that fit with the mission and strategy, they could write up a description of the issue and propose a solution. If an idea was selected, the employee would receive recognition and a bonus. As I was fresh out of my master's program and going through all of my rotation assignments, I saw a great deal I thought could be improved so I submitted a dozen or so different proposals for this innovation initiative. I quickly began to lose steam, however, as two things happened that put a damper on my personal initiative. First, I was called into my boss's office and told to essentially cool my jets, as I was still relatively new to the organization, learning the ropes, establishing relationships, etc. I was told that if I kept submitting proposals, I would be sending the wrong message. I wasn't a team player, and I thought I knew better than everyone else. In many ways, this seemed like good political advice, so I agreed to spend more time observing and learning. However, the second thing to really put a chill on my initiative was when I started to observe the organization, including my boss, making many of the changes I had proposed. Normally, this would be exciting and validating, but it just made me angry and caused me to disengage. You see, they took credit for my ideas. I was never acknowledged for any of my submitted proposals, and I never received any bonuses. And it wasn't long before I chose to leave the firm. What is Speak Up Culture? Have you ever been part of an organization that discouraged or even punished its employees from speaking up, pointing out problems, or trying to disrupt the status quo in some way? If so, how much disruption and innovation happened in this organization? Probably not much. In her recent LinkedIn article, Tanya Finney defines what has become known as speak up culture, which refers to a safe space for people to speak up and speak out where they can feel emboldened to point out both challenging areas and opportunities for new disruptions and innovations. Additionally, in a recent academic article in organization science, the researchers state voice or employees upward expression of challenging but constructive concerns or ideas on work-related issues can play a critical role in improving organizational effectiveness. Despite its importance, evidence suggests that many managers are often hesitant to solicit voice from their employees. Voice is a distinctive behavior that involves escalation of opinions, ideas, or concerns by employees to their managers with the expectation that they would respond by making systemic changes in their teams. As we create a safe space for our people to speak up and speak out, where they can feel emboldened to point out both challenging areas and opportunities for new disruptions and innovations, our teams and organizations will thrive. Creating a speak-up environment. So how can leaders encourage their employees to speak up and share their ideas? In a recent HBR article, the authors describe this problem well. When employees share novel ideas and bring up concerns or problems, organizations innovate and perform better. Employees are often the first to see issues on the front lines, so their input can really help 
managerial decision-making. Yet managers do not always promote employees' ideas. In fact, they can even actively disregard employee concerns and act in ways that discourage employees from speaking up at all. Unfortunately, while the many benefits of speak up culture are clear, many managers remain hesitant to seek input from their people and are even less likely to really listen when that input is provided. And while disregarding employee input can cause frustration and disengagement of some of your best people, even causing them to leave, actively discouraging employees from speaking up can have even more severe detrimental impacts on the long term effectiveness of the team and the strategic competitive advantage of the firm. Inclusion and Speak Up Culture I've written previously about the importance of creating dynamic organizational cultures and systems that promote diversity, inclusion, and belonging. One approach to leveraging the diverse human capital in the organization is to encourage your people to speak up. As stated in a recent Medium article, the inclusive leaders create a speak up culture where members of their teams feel welcome and included, free to share their ideas and opinions, and confident that their ideas are heard and recognized. Tanya Finney further argues that global leaders who supported diversity and inclusion were more likely to foster collaboration and saw a majority of their team members feel free to express their views and opinions. These leaders were found to have several distinct qualities, including asking questions, facilitating constructive arguments, giving actionable feedback, taking advice and implementing feedback, sharing credit for team success, and empowering decision-making among team members. Conclusion. Speak up culture is an inherent characteristic of an inclusive organization with a dynamic people-centric culture. While it can be difficult to create and maintain, it is well worth the effort. As leaders, we need to foster a safe environment where employee input is valued. We can't outsource our responsibility to be the architect of our team's inclusive culture and dynamic speak up environment. We can't outsource our responsibility to drive strategic innovation. As we help our people to know that their input is truly needed, we can leverage their passion and creativity. I'm excited to announce the publication of my new book from HCI Press, The Alchemy of Truly Remarkable Leadership, Ordinary Everyday Actions That Produce Extraordinary Results. Consider how the nature of work has shifted over the past 50 years. With increased globalization, rapid technological advancement, and the shift in economic composition, the average job of today looks very different than the average job of 50 years ago. What will the jobs and organizations of tomorrow look like? Moreover, what does this all mean for organizational leaders? What are the core competencies and capabilities of organizations and their leadership that are prepared for continued disruption and geopolitical and socioeconomic shifts? Regardless of what the future holds, increasingly, leaders need to be socially minded, data-driven, decisive, champions of talent, and disruptors of the traditional notions of leadership, teams, organizations, and work. The alchemy of truly remarkable leadership will help you to explore your own leadership competencies and capabilities and consider ways to apply and implement them into your workplace and personal life. I'm excited to share my insights with you. We are excited about the launch of HCI's new magazine, Human Capital Leadership. Human Capital Leadership is a free, interactive e-magazine designed to help individuals, leaders, and organizations find innovative approaches to maximize their human capital potential. We will be publishing issues quarterly in August, November, February, and May. Check out the first issue and let us know what you think. Thanks again for joining us for this episode of the Human Capital Innovations Podcast. I hope you stay healthy and safe and that you have a great week.